Hello everyone, it's Kribini and Tina. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's just having a wonderful day and everything is going great yes. and that you're in the best of health. Amen, health, yes. So today I was having a discussion with Tina and um, very interesting discussion. Yes, about and how we keep seeing all these videos and people, uh, whether it's a vacation video, YouTubers or whatever, that just seem to portray DR in kind of poverty. Just, it's ridiculous. Like, I literally get texts every now and then from mm -hmm. our friends who think that whenever there's a rainstorm or the wind blows the wrong way, we're gonna get blown off the earth because we live on a dirt road right. in the middle of nowhere with an aluminum roof, and that can be further from the truth. I do not live in a shack. It mm -hmm. honestly is what prompted us to do the video series on right. the home tour where we showed you how we live and where we live. And honestly, it was only to be transparent and to say, look, this is how we're living. You can do it too. Um, we hope that people will look at it and realize that you can live very well out here for very little money. Right. And also, the dollar's really strong right now. Mm -hmm. I think it's... 55.55 this morning. Okay, so it's one, it's, it's one American dollar to 55 uh, uh, Dominican pesos. So. Mm -hmm. Your money almost 56. Yeah, almost 56. Yeah, almost 56. I think by next week. That's my prediction. Wow, that's going to be great. It's, it's going to be great. Your money goes a lot further. You come out here. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Living in the Matrix, it's just a dollar, a dollar. You know? And you can also live better in Puerto Rico than you can live in the, in the United in States. In the United States, yeah. Yeah, because the things are, are just We'll more see after they vote, but. Yeah, but you know for how now. that goes. You know how that goes. <laughs> so, um, we want you guys to see that. It ain't just the U.S. that you guys got nice places, nice places to live. Because every city you go to, I don't care where you go all over the world, mm -hmm. there's going to be huts, there's going to be shacks, there's going to be poverty, and everything else that you've seen in a lot of these cities. Yeah. And it just like, it's, I liken it to, you know, because we're United States citizens, so I'm going to compare a lot for, to the United States. It's whatever. It's what I know. So... The, in the United States, you mm -hmm. have your high, your middle, and your low class. Mm -hmm. And every country is like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's no different if I went to Europe, I mm -hmm. went anywhere else. It's the South America. It's the same. Same here in the Caribbean. You have all classes. I don't know why people think it's one or the other. Now, is there a huge difference between the low and the high? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Big difference. It's Big very difference. little middle. I feel like there's a lot of high and a lot of low. But um, is there a middle class? Of course there is. And... I love that, you know, we live in a kind of a mixture of it. It's like you can go a certain way this way and you're going to kind of be in a lower end community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. then by no means where we live and have, you know, you work so many years to mm -hmm. gain money and, and put away and save and get your retirement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would I put you in like worse than what we were living in? Right. I would right, never do that. Right. Right. But even some Dominicans that I see sometimes, I talk to them whether they're from the States or whether they're here, they, they, I, I told them, I said, well, I moved from the United States to here. Mm -hmm. And they said, you moved from there to here? Are you sure? And they look at me like, are, oh, are they, you on yeah. drugs? Or did you, did you fall and hit your head? Because they can't believe it. But when you stop thinking about it, the Dominicans that are living in the United States right now, they pay all those high costs out there that they wouldn't have to pay if they was here. So yeah. they go out there and make that money, come back in here, and you retire well off the money you made in the United States. And I think that there's they've made strides here. Mm -hmm. Like there's like our building is very new, very modern. So we have new appliances and right. things like that. Right. Um, amenities like water heater. Like a lot of them tell stories on how you know they grew up and and they didn't have water heaters or they ha which a lot of them still do where they have the switch. And you have to switch it on every time you're going to use it and then mm -hmm. remember to switch it off. But we don't have anything like that. We have here a European water heater, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is exactly like in the United States that anytime you turn on the water, as long as that water heater is on, you paid your electric and gas, you're going to have hot water all through the house. Right. <laughs> so. And I love it. So. And we I, don't have to wait. And you ain't got to wait. Yeah. It's instant. I jump in my shower. I ain't got to hit no buttons. Yes. Wait a few seconds. 
that water will be nice and hot. And, and the pressure is better. And the, oh, the pressure is fantastic. Yeah, and I think that was an issue too. Remember, they were saying like some of the older buildings, the water pressure. Mm -hmm. So, there, I mean, there's little things which, of course, it's it's an evolving country just like everyone. It's just like the U.S. Like, I don't see the difference, honestly. It, in Puerto Rico too, like it, mm -hmm. before how it was in the 60s and 70s is now how you all are living in 2020, let's be clear. Right, right, right. So right. just like everything evolves and gets better and there's new improvements and the, the water systems mm -hmm. and things like that are all done differently. Now here, yes, you still see the, remember the electric uh, lines? Mm -hmm. They're always hanging low and they're hanging always low, repairing that. Some streets, That's yeah. kind of freaky. But then, you know, you have a lot of power outages in Puerto Rico too, just like you have in the DR more in Puerto Rico now because of their infrastructure, but I digress. Um, but we have things like a backup generator, mm -hmm. like some of the buildings, it just depends on what you pay for and what mm -hmm. you're looking for. And when you know, mm -hmm. so that's why we try to educate you guys. Right, so you guys, so you guys can see what we see and you don't have to be afraid to right. just move outside the box or just if you even having the thought of moving to another country, you know, such as this or, that, or other countries yeah. that you might want to just go visit. But I would, I, would always, uh, I would always say go visit first before you make a decision. Yes, because I mean when we first came, we were on one side and now on this other side, a little higher up, you know, you see like the little mini mansions and the guy with the helipad, mm -hmm. the dude that uh, does the infrastructure right. for the Dominican Republic and for Haiti. Like, People live very well. There's some Dominicans doing the damn thing out they, here. I'm I just mean, saying. They, they got some big, I mean, and I'm talking about some cars, the Ferraris, and Porsches, and I mean, everything, And they, because they've done well for themselves. Yes. You know, and I mean, it is what it is, but like I always tell people on the channel, you get what you pay for. Yes. So I, I love the fact that you can, you know, if you've, if you've planned well, you've done what I call exit strategy. Right. Meaning you've decreased your... Uh, Financial baggage. Yes, in the U.S. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you come out here, you've, bur you've unburdened yourself yes, of all yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, yes. once you do that, you will never, unless you're crazy, you would never get that burden back on your shoulders. Right. Because you have really no reason to here, honestly. If you plan well, you save while you're here, you can stay with your head mm -hmm. above water, mm -hmm. which is more than I can say about where we were living in Vegas. Like it was hard to sometimes see the shore and keep my head above the water. It was, right. it was hard, it was difficult. Right. We were, I would say at best, we were like middle income, right? Right, middle income. Um, we weren't yeah. low, but we weren't high. <laughs> right. And then you compare it to here, where do you think you land here? Um, we're definitely above average here. Yeah. We're way above average. Um, we're living two times better yeah. uh, here than we was living in that big old United States. I would say it's almost like living uh, high income, but the mm. lower high <laughs> income. But mm. still, that's better than what we were doing in the United States, which blows my mind. I'm like, I can't even believe it. We got everything we wanted in this apartment. Right, absolutely. Everything we wanted. And we came here, we didn't have no furniture. But we came here. We full, fully furnished this, this place, and it was um, mm -hmm. it was it was economically sound. The price that we paid, yep. you know. But you got to do your due, due, due diligence. You got to save some money up, put some yes. money away, and just come and just visit first, and then have an exit plan, a yes. strategy. A, a, uh, yes, how you gonna strategize? How you gonna you know how you gonna move? Mm -hmm. And we're trying to show you how to do it from my from my YouTube video. We got a bunch of videos. We yeah. talk about everything from the cost of living, right. uh, the do's and the don'ts and the things that we wish we hadn't known, from health insurance to your dental, your dental work, the whole mm -hmm. thing. Because who wants to go through life with your teeth all jacked up? I mean, <laughs> come on or now. Or without health care. I think that's a little more come important. Come on now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and some of the prices that I was quoted when I was living in the United States, was out of this world. It's like an elephant is sitting on your chest when you're out there, and then you come here, and now you can breathe because that, that weight's off your that chest. That weight's just off of me. And that's how a man should feel when he worked all those years, you know, day after day, going to work, putting up with this and all this bull and crap at work. And then, at the, yeah. at the, at, and then when you get to retirement, you're sitting with nothing. Or you're penny pinching and eating like tuna. Who does that? Yeah. 
ramen. Who does that? No, I couldn't see it. Like that's why I said I go. We need to do better. Plus, we've always been adventurous, right? And we've always been people to think outside the box. Mm -hmm. And I love that. That's one of the things I love about you mm -hmm. is because then you are showing, like I said, a whole new. Uh, realm of people like a different way of living you've changed right. that's changed that's life changing it's life changing you it can is. be one really of the is. two things you can either have money or you can have generational money and i say that all the time right remember right. i'm always telling you that i'm like yeah we can have money or we can mm. have generational money where right. we're actually setting up our kids for success and then their kids kids for success, success because we've shown them through our actions through mm -hmm. our savings through our whatever that this can be a generational thing where you actually you thought that your life was going to be one way your family's always done this they've always lived here they've always worked they've always whatever and then you say no i'm going to depart and go my direction and do it for the better mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. life-changing it's life-changing not only for us mm -hmm. but for our children and hopefully our children's children and anybody else that wants to follow suit absolutely because like i said the city that i was in vegas nice place um, and it's okay, you know, it's nice getting a little too crowded, too much traffic. Yes. But you know what? <laughs> we just we just thought outside the box and said, you know what? Yeah. What will be the idea if we move to an island? Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful beaches, beautiful palm trees, sunshine every day. Yeah. The weather is awesome. The exchange rate is good. Get good health insurance. I mean, who would not want to, I mean, to ask for nothing better than that? Yes. I mean, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. So you guys are watching us, and you guys are living your future. And I heard a lot of you say this on the channel. You guys are living your future through our, our lenses, through, through the channel. you seeing what's the possibility in the next five years or ten years, what your life can look like if you make this same journey that we did. And it would make me more happy when I know that you actually did it. It doesn't have to be here. It yeah. could be anywhere. Yeah. yeah. You know, anywhere. Just, just that you took the steps, you took the guts and the glory, and you said, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going to make that shift. I'm going to make that change. I'm going to change the direction or the course of me and my future generations' lives. I love that. I love that, too. That's exciting. I love that, too. And... Um, you know, people, like I said, people reach out to us. They have much respect because some people actually, even after we put out all these videos, they're still going to be afraid to move out of the matrix. True. And we did do a video recently about that, about the fears that hold you back and what you need to realize and then what you should do to conquer those fears and to do better for you. And I mean, I call him the mythical creature all the time. I'm like, you're, you're like the unicorn, right? I was like, the guys at your work and, and our friends and some of your family members, I'm like, you're the dude they talk about. Like, they huddle up and go, yeah, you heard about that one guy? Well, that man, one guy well, that man. got away and yeah. he retired in a crib. And they're like, he, that's a lie. That didn't happen. And they're like, no, I'll show you. And they pull up <laughs> your YouTube. Pull up YouTube videos. <laughs> And it said, that him? Yeah, yeah no, look how him. he's living. <laughs> look how he's living. He's living large. And see, and then they get fearful because... But as, it gives them hope, some of them. Yeah, but they also, they get, they get, some of them get fearful because it's like, wow, you know what? And they're happy for you, but then some people ain't happy for you. And then some people, I was like, wow, I wish I could go with him. I wish I can, you know, I wish I could have made that journey. You got a few more years, whether you work from MTA in New York City whether you drive the subway, whether you drive whatever you drive, no matter what job you got. And I know you guys know, like I know, that New York is a high tax state. They will tax you yes. to death. And after you come to New Jersey, then from New Jersey, you go all, all, all over to California, where they will tax your brains out, okay? So it's just tax, tax, tax. And since this coronavirus hit, I think at some point there's gonna be more taxes. Mm. I hope not. So we don't know how. I mean, we don't know how that's going to end up. But, but I, I will say this: always make sure because we get this a lot on the channel where people are like, "What about jobs and this and that?" Mm -hmm. I will tell you: you do not come to a place like this to look for a job. You come to a place because that's that's you still being stuck in that mentality. Think outside the norm. The world has shifted. Right. The world has changed because of this pandemic. Right. Jobs that were no longer pertinent or that were pertinent are mm -hmm. no longer. 
ways of making money are no longer. So you almost like I told the kids, I was like, you may have to kind of shift and evolve your thinking mm -hmm. to get you to a place where you can be self-employed, where you can be working remotely, where you can do what you have to do to bring that U.S. dollar. Because what you want is you want to bring that U.S. dollar here to maximize your savings. Pay in pesos. Get that money. Keep it in your account. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So that, I mean, that's a huge thing. So that, that's why I say you got to be clear that, you know, you can do it, but there's things that you have to remember. We go through these hints. We go through these issues. We go through these steps with you on the YouTube channel. And throw these jewels at you. Gems. When you get here, you let your money make money for you. Drop those pearls. Boom. Drop them like pearls. Put hot. them in your pocket. <laughs> Store them up. So, so I, was listening, I was watching J-Rob the other day. And uh, kudos to J-Rob. What's up, brother? Mm -hmm. And he's saving up his coins because he decided that he's going to move to this country. Yes. When he gets up on his feet, when he gets situated, he's going to be moving here. Yes, you know, probably Santo Domingo, but yes. Yeah, probably Santo Domingo, he's to but he's going to move here. Uh -huh. A lot of people have made the transition. Um, like I said before, before I even left the United States, I, I did a YouTube video, and I found out that over 100,000 people from the, from the Matrix moved to this country. And I was like, where are they? Yeah. They're all over the place. They're Honestly, all but you over know what? The place. Yeah, they are, and they're in big concentrations, and I kind of like not being in that concentrated mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Me like, too. I didn't come me here too. to live with people from the U.S. If I did that, I would be still in the U.S. <laughs> I came here to live amongst <laughs> my fellow Hispanic people, my Latinos, mm -hmm. my Latinas. Mm -hmm. Soy aquí. So I came out here to live here, like to really live. Like I didn't come out here to be American in the DR. I came out here to be in the DR. So Right. We love it here. We respect the culture. And you know what? Yeah, it's gonna be, you know, a difficult it's, it's gonna take you a little bit to get up on your feet when you get here. But once you get up on your feet, and what's gonna really help you get up on your feet. If you watch the videos yes. and you study the videos, okay? And because I know a lot of people call and say, well, you know what? What's the cost of living out there? Well, we did a video on that. <laughs> Check it out. We did a <laughs> I have five questions. I have five videos. <laughs> so, so it's getting now we have to start charging people for the time because now we, if we have to go back over and over again. Right. Well, some people we require start a little bit more in-depth uh, answers to their questions. So I get it, and time is money, money is time. You better so believe it. Absolutely. We have a website for that, yes. You got a website for that? And, um, we have but it can be done. I mean, like people always think the negative before they think the positive. You have to remember that you can do it. Mm -hmm. You have to put your mind on success. You have to say failure is not an option. I used to tell my kids all the time. I was like, we're Mariannis. Failure is not an option. It's not even in our name. We strive. Right. We win. You can get out of a hole quicker if you don't dig it so deep. I used to say that all the time. I'm like, so there's things you got to do. Start planning, planning. We'll build the foundation. Then getting everything set, having that exit plan, doing all those things puts you top of the hill. Easier to jump out that hole and get on with your life. I couldn't have said it better myself, Tina. There you I go. could have not said it better myself. So, um, like we always say on the channel, in the meantime, between the time, always remember, life is to be enjoyed. Yes. Continue to hit that subscription button. Please. <laughs> notification. Yes. Share us on social media. Thank you to all the patrons of the channel. And for you, the, of those of you who have not yet to patron us, all the information is always at the beginning. Thank you in advance. And thank you again for John Hastings for making that donation mm -hmm. and all those that are donating. And Ramon. And Ramon and whoever that's donating. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> so you guys stay safe and have a wonderful day. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.